train. Okay, good morning. We're heading into uh, Seattle today. Going to go uh, tour the city and then head on uh, an Alaskan cruise after that. And there is Mount Rainier right in the background. <laughs> we are at the Angle Station and I don't know, about a 30 minute ride into uh, Seattle from here. So let's get going. Pioneer Square. Go you know, check this thing out. The famous or infamous Pioneer Square, center of Seattle. Okay, we're off. Up and down. Yeah, heading over to the hotel. Going to try to do a quick check-in. It was amazing. They had a room ready for us now. We're, so we're going to go drop our bags off and uh, go check out Pike's Place Market and the Space Needle. Okay, what are we gonna do in uh, Seattle, Tamara? Okay, so today we have um, all day, it's only 10.30. So I think we're gonna take this uh, fun free shuttle that the concierge told us about that will um, takes us along the waterfront. So we'll go to um, Pike's Place Market and then we will continue on up to the Space Needle in the Chihuly Garden. Museum. Okay, we took the train a couple stops down here to uh, Westlake to Westlake to uh, go walk down the hill to Pike's Place Market. Let's see what this uh, looks like. Kind of excited about it. All right, we found Pike's Place Market. Looking forward to seeing this. I've heard a lot about it. Yes. the original Starbucks right there. There's the 400 person line to get into the original Starbucks. All the way down there. All the way back here. This is something, you got the, uh, what was that? The um, Chapino. Chapino, and that's pretty good. That's a little fish stew. Shell, shellfish in it. And then this is the, um, the this is the, uh, the Northwest Poutine. It's basically French fries with uh, clam chowder on top. It's kind of like potato on potato. So it tastes, it's, I mean, both taste good, but it's kind of odd together. It actually just needs mushroom gravy and cheese to make it work. <laughs> but then it would be poutine. Here we go, we're going in. Fish oh, okay. Alright, got the De Laurenti De Laurenti cheese and meats. We've got more to snack on. That's the important thing. Seattle pennies. Gotta do it. We walked into the not original Starbucks. Get a cool Seattle mug and we are gonna get a pike. But uh, this line is a lot better. And so heading over to the Space Needle. Gonna go try that out. Guy sleeping in a shopping cart. Monorail to a stop at each end. It gets you into the uh, Space Needle Park, which is kind of up through there. It's really hard to see right there. Yeah. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, we're in the Dark Tule Museum. This is like glass, amazing glass. Tamara, would you like this to be your ceiling? Yes, beautiful. Chihuly was born in 1941 and is a native of Tacoma, Washington. When Chihuly was younger, he visited Kew Garden, and the glass houses there, or the huge glass greenhouses, inspired him uh, to create even more fantastic works out of glass. In an odd twist of fate, when Chihuly was in England, he was in a car wreck that propelled him through the windshield and the glass from the windshield cut his face severely and he lost his eye. Glass demonstration, blowing, heating, something. Chalulis everywhere. It's beautiful, crazy. Searching for a beer in the armory. Okay, heading up the Space Needle. It was about, it's probably about, a, we waited what, about 20 minutes in line? 20 minutes in line. And we got about another 20 minutes to go before we hit the elevator, and that was with a timed entry. So, uh, yeah, reservations. But we're in the AC a little bit now. So it's nicer. Okay, first things first, the bar. Okay, cheers from the top of the Space Needle. cool up here. You can see Mount Rainier and the city and in the background. So great views, 360 views. That's what it's uh, all about. Just lean back a little further at these glass benches. <laughs> mm. Okay, I gotta say, I was whinging about the long wait and the ride up here, but Mount Rainier in the background there is pretty incredible. I mean, it just like hovers over Seattle. It is very, very, very cool. I would highly recommend coming up here and taking a look at the scenery uh, from the Space Needle. horsepower motor right down there putting this whole thing it's really slow okay big line for the elevator
How was that? That was an experience and a half. I did not expect to be so overwhelmed by all the amazing sights and the high tower. It's amazing how you get up a thousand feet and it's just or 600, 900 feet and it's just like, it's like, whoa. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So <laughs> yes, recommended. Super cool. Feels weird to be down here now. Yeah. Right, on the way to the waterfront and uh, Elliot's Oyster Bar, I think, yeah. for dinner. Here tonight. Down here we see the Seattle Ferry is right there. There's also a Mariners Orioles game going on tonight, so lots of people walking down to the stadium. Fun walk up fish restaurants. these yummy oysters at the, uh, what is this? This is an oyster bar. What's this called again? Elliot's. Elliot's. Okay, what do we got here? All right, so oyster-wise, we have, we'll be starting clockwise with the lemon. Okay. Uh, we'll be having lemon. not too humble. Humble. Uh, so the most famous for the chunu. It'll be hopefully a little bit sweeter today. And then the, ending with the Miyagi, the, the briny. Sweet, salty, funky. That one's supposed to be briny and salty. It is briny. Okay, on to the rest of these. Mm. We like the humble, like I the think, humble, the best. But yeah. I, I like the chunu the best. The chunu was better, and the Miyagi was like creamy but a little funky. So, uh, <laughs> not bad, but I think Gulf oysters are just like a dozen at a time. <laughs> yes, it was good. Things start well when they start with oysters. <laughs> I think that's a paraphrase of something. <laughs> If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe.